Okay, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons for the PC. Heaven's Frogman here, as always, and has promised I am now at the I was at the mouth of the Amazon River, and now we are going to continue exploring the eastern end of South Amer eastern end of South America. Oh, this way, and we'll just speed this up. Come on. Yeah, the scurvies are going to get a little less frequent at this point, but there's still some things worth finding down here. A couple of ports in particular. Now, Parambuco here is actually an important port, because if I remember correctly, you can get the uh, Star Level Sword, the Rune Sword here. It has the black market item you can only get at 2 a.m., so that makes that port uh, fairly important. However, I'm gonna. However, I intend on getting another, a different star level sword. So, we'll be ignoring that. And let's keep on going down the coast. Safest way to do things, especially if you wanna find stuff. Ah, Rio de Janeiro. Actually, we're gonna stop in here, folks, and we're gonna make an investment. Because this place sells... Oh! That... Because Rio de Janeiro actually sells gold as well. And it's actually allied with Portugal, so that's fantastic. Ooh! Okay, um... Alright, guys. I think I'm actually going to go attack uh, Esteban Ortega here, because... Um... He's actually... He's one of those mates that actually join... You can actually pick up after you beat him. So, I am going to save my game, just in case something goes wrong. And I'm going to fight him. And it's still night time. Okay, so I'm going to fight him. And I'll be right back. So, yeah. I'll be right back. Alright folks, we're all done beating Esteban, and I, I decided to port here in Rio to sell the ships, but also, I'm going to make that investment now. And there we go. Now it'll actually probably take two or three investments to uh, get them to start selling gold, just because of their economy being so damn weak, but, oh, well, awesome, but... We're not done here yet, so... King's just gonna have to wait. And we're just gonna... That's, uh, Bernal Loyal, uh, The guy who was supposed to protect poor Esteban. He didn't do his job! But we're gonna leave him alone anyways. Just, just, just continue sailing down the coast here and look for ports and villages and stuff. If I remember correctly, we should find at least a couple more villages. Oh, Montevideo. Excellent. And we'll just sail on up this river here. And nothing in this branch, so we'll just... This way. Come on. Gotta give me something now, come on. And we have a village, as I expected. Now, if I remember correctly, I think we have to entertain up to level up to level 30 for this village, so I'll be back. And there we go, folks. We found ourselves a cultural artifact. And what do we have here? Ooh, it's the clay monster. Well, hey, at least this monster didn't attack us and kill over 100 crew, 100 of our crew members, so I guess we can't really complain.
So that'll hopefully fetch us a nice little bit of coin. Um, oh. And our village, so we'll just pop on shore and... Anything? Okay, folks, I'm going to entertain this village and I'll be right back. There we go, folks. We get our we get the villagers' friendship up to 55, and what do we get for it? We lose 92 people. But hey, they died for a good cause. Because we just found a star level discovery. 20 feet tall, that is awesome. Alright, let's go. We'll have to get those men back uh, somehow. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to do here in this part of the world because the port strengths, which um, contribute to how many crewmen you can get in a single day from the bar, is uh, basically the determining factor in um, how quickly you can re replenish a crew in port. And since you can only get one uh, recruit once a day, it can be kind of a tiresome process. Okay, so that's all that river. Ninety two people gave their lives, but hey, all in the name of exploration and discovery, huh folks? Oh shoot, shoot, that's right, I forgot to reassign the jobs. Should do that right now actually. So we'll just change job duty. And Antoine goes back to being a bookkeeper. There we go. And sailing, we and continue to sail, we do. Now, who are you guys? Spanish merchant fleet? And a Portuguese merchant fleet? Okay, guys, I I'm feeling a little more... I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. I feel good enough to attack a merchant. So, ah, get in there. Alright, so this guy won't be in trouble at all, I don't think. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, we're back. And we just took care of Carlos Aragon. I had to go back to Rio de Janeiro to set off, set off the ships and, um, now, and since the economy was stronger since because of my investment, I was able to replace my crew within a reasonable amount of time there as well, so crew is all back up to snuff as well. And I also made another investment in Rio, so hopefully, by the time I get back there, hopefully they'll be selling gold. Which I may be able to take back to take back to Europe and sell it for a nice big fat profit. Nah, no more fights for now. Hey, I actually think we might be at the southern tip of the, uh, from the continent. Let's find out. Yepper. Alright, I'm just, I'll just explore the the tip here, and then we're going to turn back. Oh, a village! Very good. Oh. Thank you. Stop in here. Ah, there we go. Oh, yes, I also put my rations back up to 100% to uh, deal with the crew's sagging health. Discovered by Leon Franco, huh? Gee, I don't remember that in the last game. Well, anyway. I'll just explore around here a little bit more. If for no other reason other than to uh, get, it, get it all explored and put on the map. Well, folks, I dare say this trip has been quite a profitable one. Or at least it's going to be when I go return back to Europe. And okay, it looks like that's about all there is to explore. Yeah, we're basically at the Antarctic Circle here. So, 
Okay, folks, I am going to start making my way back towards Europe. Uh, hopefully picking up some gold along the way. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, everybody.